Comment of today's video is going to Cactus Dash. I really like this one. I was watching a movie and stopped it just to watch this unboxing. I can't even buy anything from California. Love it. Cactus Dash. What's going on, Reefing Fan? Matt, what are you doing? Oh. Tank. On this tank. Yeah. Oh, look at that. There's a water change reefing fan. What's going on? March here. This is Fragbox TV. It looks like we're doing a 100% water change on our Reef Casa Flat 6. Hello, little fiddler crab. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new and you're just tuning in for the first time, this is a unscripted, unedited vlog that follows everything to do with reef keeping and our lovely coral store here in Toronto. Blura. I'm getting good at that. That's a mouthful. Okay, it's Black Friday. It's here. Happy Thanksgiving to all of our viewers. What are these? Look at these big boxes. Some smart people made some smart choices and bought some 24-gallon all-in-one aquariums. We're actually going to be setting up one right there. We don't do Thanksgiving here in Canada uh, at the same time. Correction. We do Thanksgiving. We just do it a couple months earlier. But... We have Black Friday sales here. Why do we have Black Friday sales when we don't have Thanksgiving at this time of year? Hold on, sidetrack. Fuck, I mean, poop, fart, I didn't swear. Look at the Aptasia on that utter chaos. See that? Really surrounding it. The longer I do this, you know what you start to learn about Aptasia? You never truly get rid of it. You simply manage it. You live with it, you have outbreaks, you add peppermint shrimp, you add uh, Aptasia eating file fish, you add copper band butterflies, and you simply manage it. I kind of got that idea from our friend who's no longer with us, Jake Adams. He kind of mentioned that in one of his videos. You just It's just part of the hobby. You manage Aptasia. You can try and avoid it the best you can, and you're one day going to deal with it. That's a very long sidetrack. Okay, why do we have Black Friday sales here? Because a lot of the brands, let's take a look at our shelving. That one right there, Ecotech is an American company. Aquilumination is an American company. Uh, Apex Systems, look at that. And so is Kessel, kind of hidden in there. Look at that. That's a third of our shelving is all owned by uh, American brands. So you guys do big sales. And then we're so close, we're here in Canada, it influences, it, it kind of falls over. And so they allow us to do sales and then we do them. We don't do, why are the bubbles coming out of here? Huh, that means our sump is dry, actually. Let me go fill that up, and I'm gonna talk to you about some cool corals and some sails that we have on right now. So let's go see what Dylan is doing. I hear the saw is on. I'll show you how we fill up the salt. What are you doing, sir? Hey, Ken. First, we check the salts. Who that is? I don't know, Henry Cavill. Tia's on lunch break. <laughs> Who's Henry Cavill? Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, Superman. No? Superman, The Witcher. Good looking dude. Amazing. Oh my god. Good looking dude. <laughs> that was a great show, Witcher. The first season was good. Okay, we're back. The salt is topped off. This weekend, come by. The entire store is on sale, or you can shop online. Everything, just about everything, is 15% off with a couple exclusions. Um, this, Versa, will not be on sale. And the Nero's, and a couple other little things. Everything else is 15% off, and. We have quite a sale on the corals. Oh, hello, new Mr. Sailfin. 10, 20, 15, 25, 30, 40. Basically, all of this, these couple hundred frags here are all buy one, get one, half off. There's a lot, a lot in here to pick from. Some very nice Favias, Acans, Blastomusas. There's some nice tenuous. I see some hammers, some gold hammers, some green, some some mushrooms, some zoas, some more Favias, some GSP trumpets, maybe a couple little Bauer Banky frags, lots of Duncan, uh, Rhodactis. I see daisy corals. There's a lot. There's a lot in there. Buy one, get the second one half off. Everything else is 15% off. Uh, across the shelves. I'm just gonna do a quick sort of rundown here of what we have in stock in terms of colonies because you know what? Sometimes it's easier with video um, than a photo. And I realize a lot of people have no opportunity of coming here to the store. So videos can kind of help. Check out this little flower pot combo. These are on sale on the site too. The uh, gold torch, I think I have them listed at half off. I wanna say $100 off or half off. Uh, most of these on sale, so you can use the code BF2022, uh, like Black Friday, 
like big frog bf these are all up on there i just spent the afternoon updating them this is not the price this is not nine dollars this lines up to uh, nine on the website this is how we keep track so when people buy stuff we know exactly which one they're getting this is pretty cool torch here check this one out we have some cool orange frog spawn that i don't always have in stock this one right here and i also have some funky uh blue and gold hammer check these ones number 22 isn't that cool it's gold and then it finishes sort of with a blue tip on tia studio oh looking nice oh hello yasha gobi looking really nice she's building out a pretty cool flower pot garden i love the rock work i was on the fence in the beginning what do we think comments do we like it i love it i love it again another blue hammer this is a rare color um you're not going to find blue in hammer very often it's a pretty cool piece lots of chalice corals some funky mushrooms that look oh look closely unless you're driving then look at the road don't look at the phone see right kind of right in there ah, just starting to bounce some lobo this is an unusual color we have them in pink it's kind of a cool variety i think someone gobbled this up already it's kind of like a mix it's funky bunch of different colors it's spitularia this is nice so if you want something similar to xenia a soft coral maybe you're looking for your first coral this thing grows really tall so i call it like xenia's tall cousin it doesn't pulse i have some here in the back of this tank it got shafted uh oh there it is look how tall it gets it's like eight nine inches and it does this weird thing as it grows you can kind of see it stretches see right there oh thank you mr fish get out of the way see how it stretches it's quite easy to peel back it's non-invasive it's just a mouthful a little bit hard to pronounce it's suspicularia and that's a lot bigger than a piece you'd normally offer lots of nice open brains endophilia are still here these are crazy actually i like to show you guys the good the bad and the death so i'll walk you over to my tank i had a beautiful endophilia like that and it uh wouldn't open up i would say for the better half of what maybe a week matt yeah, maybe one week could have been getting stung by this torch coral it is kind of close the tentacles weren't touching but he was looking good for a while for a long while and then today showing skeleton and it should be taken out it, there's no reason to keep it in there except for maybe sentimental value he's a goner and that's quite an expensive piece oh look at that what do we see another aptasia i'm gonna grab the aptasia x in a second let's go back over here now that we have our third side track out of the way some nice sign areas these just went up on our site very cool ruby flower pots this is a funky color for a lobo it's short for lobophilia so a lot of times we'll just cut the latin name you know blastomusa we'll say blasto lobophilia lobo um i think even duncan is short for okay don't quote me on that one but there's a nice duncan coral some funky chalice lots of albies right now so i got lots of albies and donnies in stock these ones are really cool i do better with alveopora to be honest just in terms of care getting good extension growth fragging but i believe that you know a lot of times we say oh ghanis are hard or ghanis are easy i think there's 22 subspecies of ghaniopora so maybe you tried one and you just happen to get one that is a little bit trickier to keep or harder to keep than some of the other ones check these out some really funky colors in here this one's nice it's not fluorescent but i like just how it's it's different it's oh different words thank you somebody sent me an email because i said i i only use the word unique look at this i printed it out because i knew i would forget check it out i got it here ta-da this is actually the comment march instead of unique hmm let's try let's try using some of these words okay she sent me some very nice ones so i'll use uh hmm look at this blasto it is distinctive oh that's a good one check out this i would say that is astonishing hmm how do we feel about that instead of unique astonishing corals what else can i use hmm let me look at this sign area i just put it up on the site i think it's 150 dollars off and it is exquisite i like exquisite actually that's a good one this over here exceptional half purple half green that's unparalleled mm, look at this one this is unimaginable okay i'm reading i'm literally reading the suggestions here i like all of them actually i'm gonna try and mix it up and use those all the time but everything's looking really good in here hello mr ups those ones yeah not the little ones just these these big ones 
This one, two. No, no, those ones, no. Those ones are for me. These ones are for you. Somebody just dropped these off. They didn't want them. Some big ass leathers. Yeah, when they grow, they really grow. I'm gonna finish the video off. Just gonna show you a couple other cool pieces over here. I think I covered these in another video. The Encanthophilias. I apologize in advance. You know, sometimes the videos do not come out in order. Um, I'll shoot content and then I'll put them on the computer and then I'll save them. And then something will come up like Black Friday and there's gonna be a sale and I put on my marketing hat and I wanna do some promotion. So I apologize in advance if some of the videos, they don't always line up. That's it, we're gonna wrap it up. Thank you for watching today's episode, for tuning in, or maybe you're new. Welcome again to the channel. And we'll do this again soon. I will leave you with this beautiful Bengai. Have a very nice day, or morning, or evening, or afternoon, wherever you may be watching from. What a cool fish, huh? Funky, bye-bye.